Well, day 365, this is the final day of this year-long journey of a video journal. Shared with you some of the things that I learned from my journal yesterday that I thought were more insightful. Today we're just going to have a little bit more fun. Uh, we're up, Sharon had to go to the daycare. Yesterday on her drive, she got a windshield chip and it's a nasty star break and so we're just gonna leave that in the garage until tomorrow I have a another car scheduled to come over and get a windshield chip fixed and so we're just gonna leave the car in there I'll do that one first and then I'll fix this other car but I don't want it in and out of the cold which will make it run so I took Sharon to work this morning and then I came back here to the house I'm not going to run. Uh, we have to meet the delivery guy from Eckroth Music. Uh, the church ordered a new piano, a electronic piano, and it's not here yet, but we were hoping to have it for the Christmas Eve service, and so they're bringing us a loner. Woo woo. So we'll get to see that getting installed and make sure it works. And then we have piano lessons and Pop and Dee Dee. It's a Tuesday. It's a busy, busy Tuesday. We are here waiting on the piano man. So I've decided to clean up my office a little bit. Kind of start organizing and cleaning out. Uh, next time we go to Miles City or Billings, I'm going to buy a shredder. I don't really know how much paperwork I'm supposed to keep. Like, I have all kinds of stuff from different events that we've done. And I know there's some of that you want to keep. Like, I keep all the book of reports, but individual flyers and information I think I need to, to throw away. But that stuff doesn't need to be shredded. I just chunk it. Uh, but I've got minutes from meetings long time ago and I don't know if I need to keep those that's not really my responsibility I'm not the treasurer or the secretary of any of these organizations but that's confidential information so I want to have that shredded before y'all quit doing that get that shredded before I throw it away the loner piano is here and we took the uh the delivery guy, Mike, he's more than a delivery guy. He does all kinds of stuff. Took him out to breakfast so that he could head back on his trip. Hello. So once Julie gets here this afternoon, we can uh, try out the sound a little bit. We're back here at the house now. Uh, one of the things that I noticed about myself this year is how uh, frumpy I dress. Uh, gotten very, very comfortable in life and uh, wasn't dressing myself up. Hence, over the last couple of weeks, you've seen me uh, try and do that up. Well, one of the things that I did, and we'll talk more about it as we get into the, the next year, is I started trying to do some subscription boxes because we don't really have a lot of options to shop here. You have to go to Billings and still it's limited um, your opportunities. So I was looking for ways to expand that. So you guys saw my Amazon um, wardrobe. But one of the things that I did, also decided to try was this bespoke post. Sometimes they have some nice sweaters. Um, this is my second package from them. And uh, you can see the post office didn't do it any help. But I'm gonna cancel this one uh, the very first one was a knife, which I'll do a review on when I when I talk uh, when I do a whole video on bespoke post. But uh, today, um, this is what arrived, and since it's already partially ripped open, let's see if we can get this back a little bit. So. Yay. 
So what I ordered was this sweater. And so for a $50 box, I got a sweater and then I got this hydrating face mask sheet. I might try that, we'll see. But this sweater is what I really was wanting. So let's uh, let's pull it out of here and try it on. The biggest they had was 2X. I might be bigger than what they had. Yeah, I might want to try it. You, it's going to be way too big for you, bud. I might try it too. What? It looks cool. It feels really nice. Line of trade, made in China, but it's uh, supposed to be wool. And it feels like wool. Wool, that feels a lot like wool. Let me try it on off of a long sleeve shirt. I can feel the itching already. But it fits. That's cool. And I like it. What do you think? It matches the pants. It's cool. And it feels actually like wool. So I noticed that it is a little thin in between the cables. So whatever shirt I want underneath it will need to, to not be this white t-shirt. But I'm going to need a long sleeve. I can feel it's itchy. So you wear a long sleeve collared shirt and wear this over top of it. That'd be nice. Yeah, that is cool. Also notice I say um a lot or but. I have these interjection words to take up space. I'm going to try and work on that a little bit this year, too. Right now, it's time for Pop and Dee Dee. Hi! Hello. Are you home alone? No. <laughs> they hoped. <laughs> okay, so the final thing that I learned about myself this year is that I really enjoy doing this. I enjoy uh, the few of you that interact with me uh, and I enjoy um, the fact that some of the videos were more watched and people were able to to glean a little bit of something off of it. So uh, that's one of the reasons that I'm going to try and be a little bit more aware of what people are looking for so that days will have a little bit better theme so that if somebody wants to kind of take a glimpse in on that particular issue then so be it but that is about it i'm sure there's a lot more that i could have dived into but nobody really wants to just sit there and listen to that i'm waiting for sharon to send me a text i'll go pick her up and we'll have supper and Tomorrow will be the first video of the new plan. I've got about six or seven themes that I'm going to focus on throughout the year. Hopefully that'll help me a little bit better and uh, give me something to think about each day instead of just randomly rambling about whatever is going on. I think I do better when I have a thought for what's going to happen. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.